Here I am in Brussels, the capital of Belgium and of comic books. Here I see life in colour, small frames and speech bubbles. Besides Hollywood, what better place than Brussels to present the world premiere of Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson's film of Tintin. Tintin was born in Brussels. His father, Hergé, even featured several places in the city in the adventures of the famous reporter. Equally famous, the Smurfs. The little blue elves are also here. I found them in a strange establishment called the MOOF, the Museum of Figurines. We have a collection of 780 uh, figurines right now, but the total collection is like 2,800. And the smallest one is like that, it's two centimeters. The biggest one is a huge troll, it's two and a half meters. The MOOF and its guests, Asterix and Black and Mortimer, have just moved. They're now installed at the Horta Gallery, below the central station. Behind the monumental statue of Gaston Lagaffe, I easily found two unmissable attractions. First, the Belgian Comics Centre. The mecca for anyone who wants to know everything about the history of Belgian comic strips. Opposite, in what was an old newspaper building, I discovered the Marc Slane Foundation, which pays tribute to the famous Nero. Further on, towards Counterstain, I also recommend the House of Comic Strip that highlights the heritage of Joseph Gillin. Gilles G, as those in the know call him, was the founder of a school that would bring together all the authors from Edition Dupuis. Comic strips are on every street corner in Brussels. Everywhere there are huge murals designed or inspired by the great authors. Initially, it was only to hide or embellish certain walls in the city, but the idea took off. Today, there are about 50 different frescoes. I also recommend some other things to do. Buy figurines. Stop at the monthly comics market in Saint-Géry. Come back for the Grand Comics Fair in September. Or settle here for three years to do a course in comic strips.